Hello and welcome back, this is Steve Bucks Coins and welcome back to World Coin Hunt. I've designated this coin hunt WCH CP10. It was one. I won some coins off a gentleman co uh, gentleman who's known to coin tubers as Coin Patrol. I had about 18 or 19 bags worth of coins from his one big two kilo bag, I think it was, of coins. So this is one of the bags I made up. First one we have is a coin. It has Chinese calligraphy on it. It has on this side a hold coin. It's hold. It has some Chinese writing here, and it has a wheat sheaf on this side. And on the other side, it has just Chinese characters. I believe. It is Chinese rather than Japanese, but I'm not 100% sure, so I haven't been able to, at this moment in time, totally identify this coin. So that's the first coin. Second coin. So it's a gentleman by the name of Ataturk. It's from Turkey. It is from 1992. It is a 5,000 lira or lira coin. As I said, it has Ataturk on that side, and then on this side, it has a tulip design. There's a tulip. It has the crescent and the moon. It has 5,000 lira with lira spelt L I R A and the date of 1992 underneath it. That's the second coin. The third coin in this set is one from France. And on this side we have a map of France with a stylized compass design on the front. So I believe that's the right way up. You have the map of France here and you have a stylized compass design on top of it. It has a dolphin mint mark. It's dated 1977. And on the back it has 10 francs in a banner going across about two thirds of the way down the coin. And what looks behind it like a building site or an industrial site. I forgot to mention the Turkish coin that I've just shown you. Whoops, let's get that back into shot. There's the 10 franc banner and the building design is behind it. The coin that I showed you from Italy, uh, from, whoops, from Turkey, I've just realised I hadn't given you the mintage. The mintage was 23,560,000. For this Turkey, uh, for this French 10 franc, the mintage is a 100, 100 million 52,511 The next coin is one that's quite a rarity for me and for quite a few collectors It's an African coin, it's from the, it's from the Republic of Ghana It's a 50 Pesuas That's P-E-S-E-W-A-S -E so in the year 2007, on the front here, or the obverse, we have the coat of arms of the country and the country's name and also the date of 2007, the date being in the bottom third. This coin does not have a mintage. However, on the reverse, we have a lady in national dress for Ghana. The next coin in this hunt is from Israel. It's ten Aragot or ten Agot. It shows here that you have the uh, Israeli ca the candelabra that the Jewish faith uses on a Friday. Uh, 
and it has some Hebrew writing around the outside here that I, I don't know how to translate. It's Tanagat, Argat. It's a quite a well-known coin in Israel. Uh, I don't, I can't find the year out, right, or I didn't find the year out. Right. I didn't find the year out, right, and consequently can't find a mintage because I don't have the year. I have three stacks of coins for this particular this particular hunt, and I'm coming. This is the last coin in the first stack coming up. It is a coin that has the date of 1418 in uh, he Hebrew, uh, sorry, Arabic, 1418, which equates to 1997. It's 50, I think it's 50 fills, although I can't be 100% sure. I haven't been able to fully transcribe it before I, um, before I did this, uh, uh, did this hunt. As you can see quite clearly it says 50. I believe it's Phil's. I think from the writing it might be Moroccan or it might be even Saudi. It does have Islamic writing on it. So the first coin of the second batch is a Turkish soldier, I believe. I think it's Ataturk walking across the walking. It's from 1961. It is two and a half lira is the value. There's no mintage for this coin. And on the back we have the star and crescent moon, which is a symbol of Turkey. We have around the bottom here, around the sides, we have some sort of olive sprigs. And I believe one has got, there's a wheat here. Yes, yeah, a wheat here on the left as you look, an olive sprig on the right. Two and a half lira. Does that the date in there as well? Yeah, it is the dates in there as well, 1961. Okay, the next country is Mauritius. It's Dr. Ramagulan is the person on the front of the coin. The coin is dated 2002 and on the reverse where the coat of arms is from Mauritius, the value which is down the bottom here, and I think we also have the date as well, don't we? Yeah, 2002, and the 2002 date is either side of the shield. 20 on one side, no two on the other. This is a common coin. There's no mintage available, but it is a very common coin. The next one is a Somebody I've heard refer to them as toy money. It's actually an aluminium based coin. We have the Eagle of Rose uh, Indonesia. We have the Bank of Indonesia underneath it with the date of 2008, uh, 2000, 2003. So we have the Eagle 2003 and Bank of Indonesia. On the other side, we have the value of 500 rupiah. the date on that side. Yes, the date's on that side underneath the eagle. And the other thing that we have there is it's a plant of some sort. I'm not sure which one it is though. There are le it is leaves of some description. Possibly the plants that is um, well known in Indonesia. Could it be something like a coffee or something like that? I'm not sure. 
Next coin is a brass coloured coin. It's of King Badawin I from 1980. And it's a Belgian coin. And on the text, if you look at the text, which goes across the top, around the top here, it says it is the Dutch text. We have a stylized flower for some description and the value of 20 franc. It's 1980 on that side. Yeah, it's under the monarch's head, the date is. It's also said it's on this side, so... Whereabouts is it? Maybe right at the bottom there. You also have the date right at the bottom there. As I say, it's 1980. There's no vintage available, or there wasn't any vintage available. Right. This one is a Greek 20 drachma from 1978. I'm not sure who the head is of. I believe it's Homer, but it might I might be wrong. And on the back you have the year of 1978, the value of 20 drachma, and the Acropolis. At the, the Acropolis there. The date is either side of the 20, de denominating the uh, value of the coin. Right, next one is China and it's one Yao. So on this first side we have the value and we also have some ch uh, Chinese characters. On the back we have the bamboo shoot. we don't have the bamboo shoot, sorry. We have the flowers of irises. There may be orchids actually, they're orchids. Sorry, they're orchids. This one is from 2006. Now we have another Chinese Yao. Again with the Chinese characters on the front. This one seems to be a, a more an aluminium style coin. However, this one has the bamboo shoots on. Which I think was prior to 2006, but don't quote me on that. The next coin shows the Ashoka Lions of India. It has some Indian writing either side of it. We could be, I'm not sure which Hebrew, which Indian language it is though. And on the sides we have two repairs in the centre. We have the date below it. The mint mark looks like a diamond, although I'm not 100% sure. And it has some, f some. F uh, a stylized form of flowers going up each side. Okay. Next coin is one that bugs all coin collectors at the moment, it seems. We have a Magyar or a Hungarian coin from 1993. That's the coat of arms of Hungary, if I get it the right way up. There you go, there's the right way up. That's a catch of arms of Hungary. It's the year is 1993 and the coin is a 10 forint. Very, very popular coin. We see them a lot in coin hunts. Not just world coin hunts, but also they tend to be found in change for things like 10p and 10p coins. If you do a 10p coin hunt, you occasionally come up with a forint, a 10 forint coin. Okay, we just have a few more coins to go on this one.
five more coins to go in this hunt. And the first one is a Spanish one. It has Franco on the front. Francisco Franco. And on the reverse it's a five pesetas. The star on the reverse here says 1960. The date on the front is 1957. The mintage for this coin was 26 million coins. Okay. Next we have two five krona coins. 1981 we have two dolphins with the value uh, with the value on the back. The front has the coat of arms of Iceland on the front, which is the four the four heraldic symbols, including Burgessy, Burgessy the Great, the Giant. This one, although it has dolphins on it again, is 1999. The 1999 five krona coin has a mintage of 2 million. The 1981 five krona coin has a mintage of 4,350,000. The penultimate coin has a date of 2008. And it has a sunrise over the mountains with an eagle. This is part of the um, coat of arms, I believe, of the country that we're talking about. And it's Kyrgyzstan, and that's K Y R G Y Z S T A N. And the value is 3 com. And it's below it, or just above the 3 com valuation you have a heart shaped icon okay the last coin in this particular one is an aluminium one it's a one jow on the reverse you have the bamboo shoots I'm not sure what year it's from and I don't have a minute for this particular coin it's a very common one, whichever way you look at it. Right, this is the bag of coins that you've just witnessed me going through. Let me just get out. I'll keep it in this bag until such time as I load up to New Mister and also flick, flip the coins that are going to go into my collection from this bag. If you've enjoyed this hunt, please give me the thumbs up. It doesn't take a second of your time and it helps me immensely with the algorithm. The algorithm is also helped by people who have subscribed. So if you're a returner and you haven't subscribed as yet, please think about, please will you think about doing so because it will help me no end and it will also put me in front of new people with the algorithm. And I'd also love to have you along through the rest of my journey through coins and banknotes and military or whatever else I show on the channel. Lastly, let me say I do four videos a week, so hopefully you'll find something that you enjoy. And from me, if you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you're having, if you're buying coins, wherever you're buying them from, I hope you can get them for the price that you want to pay. And until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope will be not too far into the distant future, from me, ta-da now, bye-bye.